Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we're joined by Min Nguyen, who is the Regional Director for Australia at Denodo. Denodo is a leader in data management. The award-winning Denodo platform is the leading data integration, management, and delivery platform using a logical approach to make self-service BI, data science, hybrid multi-cloud data integration, and enterprise data services. Min joins us today to tell us more about Denodo and some of his thoughts on the data landscape. Thank you for coming along, Min, and welcome to the Jam. Yeah, nice to meet you, Tom, and thanks for inviting me. You're very welcome. Uh, well, let's just jump straight into it. For a business that hasn't worked with Denodo before, what are your key products and offerings? Yeah, so thanks, Tom. And before I answer that question, I just want to really address, add a bit of context to it and just talk about the data management landscape in general, right? So most organizations out there, they're amassing tons and tons of data, right? I don't know any business out there that's actually not amassing data. And so data is coming through a variety of ways, right? It's coming through quickly, it's coming through a batch, it's coming through all forms of structures, right? Whether it be photos, PDFs, um, the easy ones is tables and numbers, that's, that's easy, but it's coming through various means and organizations actually investing more to collect all this data, right? But in saying that, you know, what we see in the market is the biggest challenge is actually how to people, business people, get access to the data. How do they actually even know what data they have available with, with, within their organisation? And how do they trust that data, right? How's that data reliable, right? So, you know, or, and, and how they get that delivered securely to them. So, you know, to know the way we really address this problem, this is why we exist, is that, you know, we actually, uh, like, you know, totally embrace this, where we understand that every organisation has got Many uh, many data sources. The traditional way of kind of tackling this problem, and organisations have been trying to do it for the last twenty years, is trying to centralise everything to one repository, right? And then one place for everyone to go access the data. In theory, this sounds really good, but however, to physically move all your data into one repository, it's not possible, right? And then what happens if you do it today? And what happens tomorrow when you get more data sources, right? So I don't, I don't think I've ever met any organization that's been able to store all their data in one central location. Um, and the way Donato really addresses this problem that's different, it's, you know, we, we do it in three kind of ways. First, we embrace decentralization. We'll help organizations connect the data. Then we'll um, virtualize the data, help them manage the data and do a lot of what I call data modeling, so they can actually provide business context of that data. And then finally, being able to deliver that data. So it's not actually not good enough to for, for the end users to view the data. They actually need to like, have a mechanism actually to deliver that data to them. So we think that's important. We think that's um, very important in this space. Well, now, what makes Denodo more exciting than other tech vendors in the data management market? So it's not, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a product or feature. I actually think it's our belief and focus that's actually been unwavering for the last 23 years. So a bit about Denoda, we've, you know, the way we started was, it was actually a university professor and his PhD students. And they had a belief that the best way to actually provide access to information to, to um, you know, to critical data is actually being able to, how do you virtualize it? So instead of actually needing to copy and move it to another repository, how do you actually deliver it without actually moving and copying the data? So that's really important that, you know, and we spent, you know, it's very difficult what we do, and we spent 23 years really re refining and honing it. So it's just our culture, our belief, we don't do much, this is all we do, and we're very good at, um, at you know, this craft. You definitely are very good at it. Well, now, do you have any examples of how you help organizations solve their complex business challenges? Thanks, Tom. And, you know, when, when I get asked this question, the use case I'd like to talk about um, is, you know, what overseas, where we partner with the National Nuclear Security Administration and the system integrator, Pantex, right? So I like to talk about this use case of this customer because, you know, when it comes to complex stuff, it doesn't get more complex than data or information on nuclear weapon stockpiles. So this group here, they've been tasked with 
you know, testing uh, nuclear weapons, understanding the reliability, the safety and security, and the life cycle of all these um, inventories um, that they've got at their disposal. So they operate, you know, over half a dozen different sites by design in, in North America, right? And they've been tasked with, okay, how do we actually share information? How does that organization actually collaborate together, you know, or they were operating at different sites? The traditional method would be, okay, let's do everything on email. No, no. Let's actually send a file. No, no. Like, let's do it over phone. No, that's that wasn't going to cut it. The only the only option they had was, why don't they actually just virtualize all this metadata? So they partnered with us. We virtualized all the metadata from all their different secured sites. It, um, we created a unified layer that anyone within their organization that's operating the sites, but also from the Pentagon for other places as well, can access this data and actually understand what data they've got and actually run the queries as well. So it, it's, it's, you know, it's unbelievable use cases. Um, I don't know about you, Tom, but, you know, suppose I care about PII data, but if you ask me about nuclear weapons data, that actually gets my attention. And that, to me, is, is, is the most sacred of data that, you know, the world needs to keep safe. I mean, I definitely don't think I've heard of any other company with that, that level of example. So that's an absolutely fair one to use. Well, now, I guess shifting tech a bit now, what's next? And what's going to keep Donato at the top of the data market? Yeah, so, um, and Tom, that's a very timely question, right? So any of our viewers at the moment, if they Google Donato and they see the news, we've actually just had our second round of uh, funding, Series B, of $336 million uh, US. So, which is quite incredible, right? So if you think about Donato, or they were a global organization, we've only got 700 employees. So it's like, you know, that's quite a bit of money for each employee. We, we were obviously not getting the money, right? I, I wish where the money's actually going to is to our research and development team, right? It's all about how do we actually develop products to make our um, customers um, and our partners more successful. One area that I think it's, you know, it's, it's you know, getting a lot of traction and I can see um, a lot of investment in um, where we're heading to the market is actually being able to invest in um, large language models, right? So being able to, you know, help users. So I'll take it back a step. Anytime I have a friend that's not in IT, they go, Min, I want to join this space, but I don't know how to code. I don't know how to do all this programming stuff, right? So just picture this in the future, anyone in the organization, doesn't matter, their technical capability can actually log into the platform with simple language, be able to actually delve into the data they've got without need to write any queries, any code. You think about how much that will transform an organization, right? So you've just automatically given um, an accountant or a HR person that has no data background, the, the capabilities of a data scientist. And in fact, we were working with a lot of non-traditional tech or data companies, such as mining, that, that are kind of embarked on this journey right now. I was going to ask you about AI, so you beat me to the punch a lot of it there. Uh, well, now, I guess one last question to finish off. If an enterprise end user wanted to engage with Denodo, what's the best way for them to do that? So, we're, we're, you know, we operate nationally. So we've got customers in probably nearly every state of um, Australia. We even have a customer recently from the Northern Territory government, right? So we're, we're everywhere. Where I'm sitting now is actually in our Sydney office, but I'm, you know, one week I'll be in WA, one week we're in um, Canberra. Um, you know, we've, we've got a growing team in, in ANZ and actually um, customers can reach out to us on our website. They can reach us uh, to LinkedIn, invite us for coffee. And if you're passionate about data we would we'd love to speak with you that's um that's kind of our jam awesome well it has been a pleasure having you on the jam and, and learning more about denoto and what you guys are doing uh we look forward to hearing more from denoto very soon thanks very much tom speak soon